Today I'm going to show you how to recreate this 1920s flapper inspired look that I created for Paper Magazine. So I've begun by blocking out Emily's brows and because her brows are quite thick I'm going to use glitter as a way to mask this as part of the design. So first of all I'm going to go in with a purple pencil and I'm going to sketch out where I'm going to be shading her eye. So I'm going to go right across her lid like that and then I'm going to go into her socket and if you use a slightly lighter pencil you can then work in the darker colour afterwards and it's a little bit of a kind of cheat so that you, if you make a mistake it's kind of easier to get rid of it. I'm just going to flick this purple out at the corners just underneath her brow bone and now I'm just going to go underneath her eye with that purple as well and just join it to the outer corner of her eye. And now I'm going to begin adding in where I want the highlights on the eye. So I'm going to go in with this really incredibly sparkly silver uh, House Laboratories pencil. So I'm just going to go on the inner corner of her eye and then across her eyelid like that. And you're basically marking out where you want to put these colours in later on. So I'm going to go up onto her lid like this. And then I'm going to go just underneath as well. And then I'm going to introduce some coldness just onto Emily's Cupid's bow. So now I'm going to take the Hotter palette and I'm going to use a little bit of this purple. And this is from the purple palette. I'm just going to blend that in and up into Emily's socket like this. And I'm kind of going to just build that up into her brow bone just underneath where her eyebrow would naturally start. And then work that just into the base of it like that. And then down following the curve that I just drew. And then I'm going to begin sort of infilling at the corner like this. And I'm just going to blend underneath the eye as well. And I'm going to just go back and tidy up that line with the pencil again. So I'm just going to blend it all nicely in together. And now I'm going to take a mix of this kind of matte pink and this shimmery pink and I'm just going to go in just above that purple and bring it up into the brow a little bit and also just under Emily's eyes like this. Now I'm going to use my House Labs palette and I'm going to use a little bit of the silver on her lids like that. Blend that around the crease just underneath. Hit that spot just on the inner corner of her eye as well and just bring it under. Dust that around there just to kind of blend the whole thing together. Now it's time to draw on the eyebrow. So I'm going to give her a really pencil thin eyebrow but put a little kink in it just to make it a little bit different. So I'm going to begin by taking my very, very sharp black pencil and starting from the very top of her eyebrow, I'm going to begin by drawing that thin line going dot to dot. My little kink's going to happen about there. And then I'm going to bring it down to follow the normal eyebrow shape. As I mentioned earlier, Emily's got quite thick brows, so when you conceal them, you sometimes get a little bit of texture, and I'm going to cover that using kind of pearly and shimmery effects that basically totally disguise the hair underneath. So I'm going to begin by taking a pearly colour, mix it with a silver, and I'm just going to brush it in to her eyebrows like that. And now I'm going to take some eyebrow glue and really carefully just place it into that negative space and then put the glitter on top. So here's my duo, my eyelash glue. I'll put some on the back of my hand like that. And then I'm just going to really carefully paint that in right underneath that black line like that. Taking care not to go over the black line but just paint on the inside of it. And then I'm going to take this really sparkly silver and a tissue and I'm going to ask Emily if she can just hold it under her eye like this so that if you do get any fallout it's not going to disrupt the rest of the makeup. So just pop your finger there and that really should just stay exactly where you've put the glue. And while she's got her hands there I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter just on the inner corner of her eye as well. So I'm going to take that duo, pop a little bit there just on the inner corner and then go back in with the glitter like that. You always get a little bit of glitter fallout when you use glitter. So I'm just going to take some tape and I'm going to just remove the glitter like that. 
So I'm just gonna go back over the eyebrow line just to make sure it's really perfect. Finish by blending it into some shimmer like this. So I'm just gonna bring a little bit of kind of cold shimmer just up into the brow. So now to make the eye a little bit more intense, I'm gonna go back to my black pencil, look up for me, and I'm just gonna line underneath like that. And then also just give her a little bit of a wing and then blend that out with a brush and a tiny little bit of smoky black eyeshadow. To really exaggerate this look, I'm gonna give Emily a really extreme lash. So I'm gonna begin by putting some lash glue on her lashes and I'm gonna just pop some on the lash as well, just to give it that extra bit of stick. Because this lash is slightly longer, I'm just bringing it out to the edge of Emily's eyes and it kind of gives you that lazy eye look. So I've just applied the top lash and I'm gonna just apply a bottom lash as well. So if you just look up, a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue on the bottom lash and I'll just place it upside down on her eye like that. You can also add a little bit of white into the inner corner of the eye and onto the lash line and that will help to open the eye up even more and give you that kind of doll-like effect. The final touch for the eye is just to go in with a little bit of glitter just underneath the bottom lash and I'm just taking, look up for me, a really fine glitter. I'm just gonna pop a little bit under so now for the lips, I'm just going to take this really lovely deep burgundy and I'm just going to put it in the centre of her lips like this. And I'm going to just blend it out with my finger. Just adding a little bit more so you get a really nice little gradient. Just tapping it in just into the centre. Add a little bit of gloss into the centre of her lips just to really highlight that beautiful berry colour. And now I'm gonna finish the look with a little bit of cheek and highlights. I'm gonna take this purple and this pink and I'm just gonna mix the two together. I'm just gonna pop them into the apples of her cheeks like this, really nice and soft. And this is a really lovely dewy product. So it kind of has a little bit of beautiful sheen to it as well. And then finally, just a tiny bit of highlighter just down the bridge of her nose a little bit into the cheekbones. And then Emily already has a really amazingly structured face, so I'm not actually gonna put any contour in. I'm gonna keep that really cute, kind of lovely doll look, because I think that's really, really special for this look. So that was my 1920s inspired makeup look for Paper Magazine. Really great tip there for covering any brow texture that you get coming through when you block out your brows using a little bit of glitter to mask that. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and don't forget to comment below if you want to see anything in particular and thanks for watching.